Hello from Spur IT and welcome to the pop-up upsell on exit and visit app tutorial video. I'm gonna show you how to set the app up, make it work for you and improve your website's conversion rate. I have the app already installed on my web store, let's check it out. The pop-up upsell on exit and visit app allows you to show pop-ups with promotions and discount codes to sign visitors up to your newsletter and make offers to visitors who are leaving your store. As a merchant, I want to increase my sales and conversion rate, so I'm gonna welcome my visitors with a 10% discount code. It will definitely make them think twice before leaving empty-handed. I'll name this offer 10% discount. This internal name won't be shown on the storefront. That's how the texts are located on the basic pop-up template. The offer message field must be filled out. Here I should write the headline text for my offer. This field supports HTML, so you may use it to add a link, image or something else. Ok, let's move on. In the discount code field I will paste the discount code that I have already created in my store's admin panel. I will leave the text before discount code field empty. The next two fields are designed to add a button to your pop-up. This tab is optional and you can leave these fields empty if you don't need a button on the pop-up. In the offer button name field we should write the text that will be shown as a button title. In the offer button link field we should write the URL address the customers will be redirected to after clicking the offer button. I will put the URL of my catalog page here. If you leave the offer button link field empty, then clicking the button will simply close the pop-up window. The next section has two options. With the first one, the pop-up will appear when a client is going to leave the store and is moving the mouse cursor to close the tab or browser. This option may be used to stop customers before they leave empty-handed. The second one will show the offer when a customer visits the store or has activated the additional conditions that can be set below. With this option you can welcome your visitors with, for example, a 10% discount code. I will select the second option since I want to show the pop-up when a client visits my store. Ok, let's go ahead. In the next section we should set the frequency with which the pop-up offer will appear. The first option will show the pop-up on every visit, so it will be shown again when the client visits your store the next time. But please know that the pop-up can be shown only once per user session, and the session's duration is approximately 30 minutes. The second option will show the pop-up only once, and it will not be shown again after disappearing. I will select the second option to show my offer just once. Ok, let's save the offer and check how it works. Works great, let's go back to the settings. The include leave your email field checkbox is available in the advanced plan only. It allows you to collect visitors emails with the leave your mail field, but please note that this field can only be shown on the templates that support the email field. The last step is the additional conditions section. Here you can schedule your offer, for example during some sales period, and set conditions for when the pop-up window will appear. Let's show an offer only to those who will add at least two items to their cart with a minimum total amount of $100. Ok, let's save and check it out. No messages are shown, let's add some products. Now both conditions are met and the pop-up window appears. Cool feature, but I want to show the offer to all website visitors, so let's go back to the settings and remove the additional conditions. The additional conditions section can be used to set a reminder for abandoned cards. For example, you can select an option to show the pop-up when a client starts to leave the store and set a minimum price or minimum quantity amount in the additional conditions section. So the pop-up will be shown if the client tries to leave the store with some items in his cart. Ok, now let's take a look at the design section of the app. The app has 12 different pop-up templates, one template in the free plan and 11 that are available only in the advanced plan. Now I use the basic template that I have already modified. Let's take a quick look at the design settings. You can upload a background image regardless of the template selected. There are tons of settings for the pop-up container, content and buttons. Let's select the simple theme template and change its look. Ok, done. Let's apply a new theme. And here comes the warning window. It says that the text of my offer will be replaced with the template default text. Ok, let's save it and check the offer's settings.
As you can see, the offer message field contains the HTML code of the selected template. To set different templates for different offers, you have to copy the correct template HTML code and paste it into the offer message field. Please note that if you have more than one offer created, then the template won't be applied automatically in order not to change all offers. The pop-up with the template's HTML code will appear and you will be able to copy and paste it into the exact offer's offer message field. To change the offer message text that will be shown on the pop-up, you have to find it in the HTML code. And please note that all pop-up templates are different. The texts may be located in different places or some of them may be absent. For example, this template doesn't use the text written before the discount code field. Don't be afraid to experiment with the templates. Ok, let's save it and check. Perfect, that's exactly what I was looking for. Ok, let's move on. You may check the subscribers list in the subscribers section of the app. Now let's check the settings section of the app. Here you can set the maximum pop-up width and disable it for mobile devices. The next functions are available on the paid plan only. These two options allow to close the pop-up automatically after a particular period of time or hide it when a visitor clicks outside. Also, the app supports integration with the MailChimp and OmniSend. These options and integration with the mail services are available on the paid plan only. That's all. If you face any difficulties or need personal design adjustments, please don't hesitate to contact us by using the built-in chat inside of the app or email our support team at the email address you see on the screen. Our fast and friendly support team is available 24-7 and we are always glad to help you. Thanks for watching, hope you found this video useful. Click like, subscribe to our channel and leave 5 star reviews in the Shopify app store. Good luck to your business, sell more and stay awesome.